As the leaves start to fall and the weather starts to get cooler, the end of fall trout fishing season is near. But to help you get those last few big fall trout fishing bites, here are my top seven late fall trout fishing tips. What is going on you outdoor mavericks? Welcome back to the channel. Now fall trout fishing is one of my favorite times of the year where you got your waders on, a few extra layers to make sure you're nice and warm and there's still some big trout bites around. But in order to get those last few big fall bites, you're gonna have to use some unique techniques and tips that are gonna help you get those last few big trout of the year. And that starts with fall tip number seven, which is to cover more water and don't fish the same location. One of the key advantages of fishing in the fall is there's less people out fishing fishing in the water, say in the river, the creek, the stream, the lake, wherever you're fishing, which gives you more opportunity to cover multiple different areas of different bodies of water and multiple different areas of the same body of water in the same day. And with those cooler water temperatures happening in the fall, the bite's going to slow down a little, which means you're going to have to cover a lot more water to get potentially more bites or find that one big bite for the day. So be prepared to put some miles on those wader boots and it's going to help pay off at the end of the day with that one big bite. Now tip number six has to do with the color of baits and when you've got any off color tinted water start going with really bright baits and when you've got rising water conditions whether it's on a big lake a river creek or streams you're going to get off water and off colored water conditions which are going to make natural color baits really tough for the trout to see and this is where you want to start going with brighter colors like pinks reds and chartreuse that the trout are going to be able to see really easily and when I pull up to my fishing spot and there's even a tint of off-colored water conditions, I'm going with super bright baits because that's going to give me a good idea as to how the trout are biting and I'm really successful, I'm going to stick with it or if I'm not, I'm going to play around and switch with different colors that's going to help me find that one or two big bites on the day. Now tip number five is something I forget to do a lot in the fall time frame, which is lengthen your leader length when you're going out fishing. And extending your leader length really comes into play when you're talking about rivers, creeks, and streams fishing, especially when you're flying fishing or you're fishing with spinners but especially on rods and reels where you've got braid and you want to have a mono or fluorocarbon leader you want to have extra length in that leader because the fish tend to be a little bit shyer and in clear conditions they're going to see that line and you want to have an extended leader so you don't spook the fish and give yourself an opportunity for an extra bite or two now depending on where you're fishing i've seen people go up to leader lengths of 12 to 15 feet so they don't spook the trout and give themselves the best opportunity to get that maybe one or two bites on the day. So before you head out, consider lengthening your leader length or you might be scratching your head as to why you spooked some fish and didn't get that one bite. Now tip number four is a really good one, especially when there's a lot of debris in the water, which is to twitch your bait, whether it's a fly, a twitch jig, or even a spinner to give your bait a little extra action in the water and separate itself from all the debris like the leaves and twigs that are in the water. Now what you're going to find in areas where you do have a lot of debris is you're going to get some leaves and twigs on your hooks, especially if you're fly fishing or fishing with spinners. But by giving it a little jig every once in a while, you're going to give yourself an opportunity, especially in the right conditions where the water is flowing perfectly and the trout can see your bait. And by giving it a little twitch, they're going to be able to identify it a little bit easier and go attack it. Now, tip number three is something critical that you have to pay a lot of attention to, which is to size down the size of your baits that you're using. Now, whether you're trolling for trout from the boat with spinners or plugs or hoochies or you're bank fishing with spinners, eggs, power bait or you're fly fishing, you're going to want to size down your baits for a few reasons. When the water temperatures drop and the fish become less bitey, you're going to want to go to some smaller baits that are going to be easier for the trout to go after, especially as they start to slow down their metabolism. They're going into slower bodies of water and slower flowing water. They want smaller baits that they can go attack really easily without producing or using a lot of energy. Now that's not to say that big baits won't catch big trout in the fall, but you're going to be more successful with sizing down your eggs, your spinners, or your flies when you go out there. And as you play around with different conditions of where you're fishing, you're going to have to figure out what that right size is of bait that the trout might like. And when you do, you could land on a really epic day of late fall trout fishing. Now tip number two is specifically for trolling for trout, and that is to troll into shallower waters in that late fall time frame. When it 
comes to spring and summertime, we're so used to trolling really deep in the water, say even up to 100 feet to get after lake trout. And in the areas that I fish, we're talking like 40 to 50 feet where the trout really like to hang out below that thermocline. However, in the fall, when you got cooler water conditions and you got warmer water towards the top of the water column and in the shallower areas, you're gonna wanna start trolling from the deeper areas into the shallower areas where the trout are more likely to hang out, be feeding, or just hanging out in slower moving current water. Now my rule of thumb is when it starts to really cool down, I'm gonna be trolling in about 20 feet or less. And typically I'm looking for about 15 to 20 feet is where my go-to range is when it comes to trolling in that late fall time frame. So as you're going out maybe for that last one or two boat rides in the fall season chasing trout, be very mindful of the depth of water that you're trolling in. And the number one late fall trout fishing tip is to fish later in the day when the air temperatures drop below 50 degrees. Now this is a key tip, especially as air temperatures and water temperatures start to drop significantly, is the trout will start to be better biters later in the day after the sun gets up and after the water has a chance to warm up a degree or two. When it comes to the most successful time of the day that I've had fall trout fishing, it's between noon and sunset is when I've caught the most fish and my biggest fall fish. So if you only have a few hours to fish or you have to pick one day or a time when you can go fishing, I would recommend going later in the day because you're gonna have a better opportunity, the water's gonna warm up, and the fish are gonna be a little bit more active going after a variety of different baits. So if you time it right in the afternoon, you might hook that 20 inch and maybe even a 30 inch trout and have an amazing day on the water. And there you guys have it, my top seven late fall trout fishing tips. I hope you guys got some great information out of today's video to take out into the field late in the fall to catch some really big trout and maybe get on that one last big bite of the season. And if you guys like today's content or got some great information, smash the thumbs up on that video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing if you love trout fishing, trout fishing tips, and other outdoor content. And don't forget, and as always, you guys, the outdoors is a gift. Share it with others.